as these two cyclists move along on their trajectory, let's, let's start with the guy practicing edge behavior, quickly call out some of the issues that he might face as he comes through this intersection. Blind spots. A yellow car making the left turn doesn't see him. That's right. What else? Dooring. Dooring. Yep. Dooring. That white door. Yep. There's also a salmon cyclist. This is a cyclist going against traffic, swimming upstream. Oh, collision with the salmon. Yeah, collision with a salmon. So he's got the bulb out up here. Maybe, yeah, I think somebody mentioned the truck could be turning right. He's got quite a lot, right, as he makes his way through here. Um, and think of the stories that he tells. You know, like there's a lot of dumb motorists there, right? So um, now we never said that what we teach is perfect just the best practice. I mean, this person practicing driver behavior, she has things to watch out for too. What does she have to worry about? Uh, that left turn, that mid, mid block left turn. Oh, this one right the, here, the yeah. Blue guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, also the cars in the next lane pulling a sudden maneuver like, oh yeah, I need to turn right. Yeah. Well, what if well, he tried, what if he, you know, she, traffic moves out a little fast in front of her and that uh, orange car decides to slide in, doesn't, you know, because she's in his blind spot. This guy? Yeah. You know, she is in his blind spot, you're right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. I talked earlier about vantage and visibility. So these drivers can see each other, right? The motorist and the bicyclist. These two can see each other, the two drivers. 